government in meltdown, rising fees and taxes. Ready to leave California yet? That's exactly what Colorado hopes you're thinking. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. I'm Dana King. The news starts now. This is CBS 5 Eyewitness News. Nevada's done it, so have Oregon and Arizona. They've all tried to lure California companies away, promising more affordable housing, lower taxes, better commutes. Tonight, Len Ramirez shows us yet another state is now making a sales pitch to the people of California. From an airplane banner above rush hour traffic in Los Angeles to a YouTube video showing business boosters in Denver sending valentines to California CEOs, Colorado's long-distance love affair with California companies is now out in the open. We are not out there to try to ask a company to move. We're asking when you think of expansion, think of the relationship between the two states. We're a great place to expand to. Colorado isn't the only suitor lusting for California businesses. In the past, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, and Texas have all made passes at California CEOs, hoping to lure them away. It started during California's electric energy crisis. Now states are citing our budget gridlock as a reason for companies to stray. California is challenged in a number of ways that other, other states are going to try to take advantage of that. Zach Nelson is the CEO of NetSuite, a $150 million business software company with 1,000 employees in San Mateo. I think everybody's tried to recreate the magic, certainly, of Silicon Valley and other industries in California. NetSuite already has a sales office in Denver, but the company doesn't see itself moving headquarters to Colorado. So what is the value of staying in California and putting up with all of its problems? In a word, people. People wake up living and breathing, starting new companies, growing new companies. And that was part of the early success of NetSuite. NetSuite was we had those people who had started companies and grown companies. And you really can't transplant that. So they can croon all they want. Besides, Cupid skipped one of the companies already showing Colorado a little love. We went there even without them sending me a Valentine card, and I don't think I got one today either, so I'm a little disappointed I didn't get one. In San Mateo, Len Ramitas, CBS 5.